Dana, we're just a couple of days away from our next European game. How are preparations going for the trip to Portugal? Yeah, one that we're really looking forward to. Um, it's obviously when you get a new team, there's a lot of a lot of work they've gone into it of understanding the team, how they play, personnel, um, hours and hours of preparation. Um, but listen, this is why we work so hard all year to, to put ourselves in situations like this. So we have to enjoy every minute of it. It's a new experience, isn't it, going from uh, game to game, week to week, and as you say, completely different opposition, whether it's home or away, but something you want to relish, as you say, we worked hard to get here? Yeah, we, we absolutely love it. Um, we love the, the, the work that needs to go into, to, as I say, getting those players and their key players and how they play and trying to break them down, and this is, this is a dream come true for us. Is it something that yourself and the coaching staff have to put a lot of work into before you kind of bring it to the players' attention and, and give them information that they can take on board? Yeah, there's as I say, there's hours and hours of work that goes into this. Some some you need, some you don't share with the players. Um, then also the other aspect of it is, is is how much information you give them without overloading them. So it's all about trying to drip feed it day by day. Um, we're very fortunate with the group of players that we have that um, they, they they now start to understand this information. and They can't get enough to be fair to them. And we've faced different styles of opposition. We've been to uh, Wales, to Denmark, and, and soon Portugal as well. So different types of tests, whether it be physical or technical or tactical as well. Yeah, and I think this this um, Portuguese team will they're all very technically good on the ball. Um, they will all probably be comfortable on the ball. That the team is made up of, of, of mostly Portuguese and Brazilians. Um, so it's going to be a really tough test. Um, but as we keep saying. The tests that we have to enjoy, they're tests that we have to embrace. Um, I think we've been superb up to now and, and we got to go again. Yeah, the quality of opposition rises with each level and each round that we get through, but the players have risen to, to get the challenge as well, haven't they, so far? Yeah, we're we're very, very fortunate. Blessed is the word that we're using um, to have the group of players that we have. Um, and, and no matter what we've thrown at them up to now, they, they've been absolutely superb. Their level of professionalism um, has been second to none, and I, I, I can't give them give them enough praise. Have you had a little bit more time to sort of digest what happened in the previous round, both coming away against our house and maybe just the, the magnitude of, of the victories and, and uh, the progress that we made there? Uh, no, uh, the the only thing that I'm worried about now is is Paco de Ferreira. Um, what's happened in the past has happened; it's gone. Um, we, we now worry about what what our next game is and what what, what the future lies for Larne Football Club and. And that's how we work, um, and, and and that's what we'll do. Uh, a couple of players we had the, the retire a bit early from uh, from the game in our house. What's the situation with, with some of those players? Are they, are they hoping to, to make it for the next next game? Again, they're, they're players that are that are being monitored at the moment. Um, I, I, we're not a hundred percent sure whether they'll definitely make it or not. If, if, if truth be told, um, we, we we just literally have to monitor them over the next couple of days. And, and, and see how this goes. Uh, Kofi Bammer, one player who's hoping to come back into contention. Yeah, Kofi will be will be available for selection again come 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 Thursday, um, which which we're delighted about. Um, on we we know that these games, especially away from home, you're going to probably be under a lot of pressure and. To have someone like Kofi at your disposal will, will definitely make a difference to us. We go away from home obviously first and, and the uh, the return leg at home. And we want to give a real account of ourselves over there, don't we? And, and uh, keep things you know in good order for coming back to Denver if we can. Yeah, I think that that's always the game plan when you go away from home is um, can you make sure that you're you're coming into the second game still in the game? Um, again, it's a it's a brand new experience for us. Um, we have to be very careful how we start and what we do, and um, well, I'd say the objective is to try and come out of it still alive. And just finally, we're, we're speaking just after the draws we made for the qualifying round. There's going to be a lot of hype around that, but not from you, I would imagine. Definitely not. Um, the only thing we'll be talking about is is the Portuguese side, because as of right now, that's the only team we face, um, and that's that's where we'll go from here. All systems go for travelling on Wednesday then. Yeah, boys are starting to get used to this now. They're they're jet setters and. Um, traveling from country to country, but as I say, we're we're absolutely utterly loving every minute of it. It's, it's it's a lot of hard work. There's a lot of hours of preparation going into it, but one that we're absolutely thriving. Um, and you can see the boys are growing into this. So they're, they're now looking for a charter flight down to Balnamalard if we get them in the Irish Cup in a, in a couple of months' time. So. Yeah, it's great. As I say, we're really enjoying the experience. And just lastly, we saw some of the scenes when we were out in Denmark of, of what uh, you know fans were watching it here and experiencing it here, and that, that gives you a real boost. And I know the, the players were enjoying that when they, they saw it on their phones. 
that's what it's all about for us. Um, yes, we have a lot of work to do, and um, it, it, it's a lot of uh, sacrificing. But when you see nights like that, and you see faces like that, then grown men and women crying, um, it just makes it all worthwhile. Thank you. Thank you.